Okay, so hello, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank with you for Wombat. It's not with Wombat. Get off. So thank you for joining us on another Fluid Art Express adventure. Hope you just watched Sham B, amazing artist. And I hope you've all jumped onto all our Art Family Here's channels and subscribed to their channels because it just means the world to us and it helps us keep creating and bringing you this show every week for your enjoyment. So at your leisure, just drop over there, see everyone's channels and hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. And we always do appreciate your support. So today, play day. We're going to do something. I'm hoping. What I did earlier, and I'll just go over here. So I did this crazy little splatter first. Ooh. Yeah, so we don't want that yet. Blue malicious. So that's our bloom with a little trippy swipe off the side and to be continued. We'll come back to that. So we've got our 16 inch oval here, which is pretty cool. Stolen off Wombat, aka Darren. Thank what? you. Excellent. Now, what I've got we have color palette, Pebio Red Blue. Love the Pebios. We have Sanchi Red. Love the eye candy Sanchi Red. We have Inferno, this little piggy, one of Bubbles' favourites. There it is. We have a custom made, originally Arc Orange, now a shade different from the Wombat himself. It has been Wombatted. And one of the Bubbles' personal favourite colours. Now, to look in that, that tub there, you sort of go, hmm, yeah. Bit muddy. Not that crash hot. But this is Cherry Red by Eye Candy. And when you see what that does to other colours, you just go, mwah. So cool. We've got some um, Kin Gold CA. And we've got Lamp Black. Three to one for our swiping. And look at Bubbles go. I just got so damn technical. So what we're going to do first, I'm back to my Kin Gold swipe first. The addiction is real. Be very careful if you started. Very hard to stop. But when um, Daz makes these for me, it just, the cells he gets, I don't know how. Alright, so, let's load this up. So, one good thing to remember, too, when you are playing with colour CAs, don't get dis disappointed as, as um, at first if you don't go, oh, wow, check out all those bubbles. Sometimes it can take some time. So, have some patience, do something else, and look back at it in a bit. It'll happen. So I think what we're going to do is go, yeah, let's go this way. Take that one there. Yeah, get some fresh paper towel. Last one was getting a bit squishy. So see here where I've gone a bit bold and thick and a bit ambitious? We can just go back in there. Lightly tap it, you'll see when you touch, you get that swirl. Well, let's just thin it out. No biggie. All right, that's our big gold CA swipe. That'll do us. Done. Thanks for joining us on the Fluid Art Express this week. Haha, <laughs> just joking. All right, so we're going to go in now with some Pebio Red Blue. And I was going to do some palette knife swipes, but I thought, you know what, we did that last week. So I think we'll just do some wacky swipes this week. I need to do some blues again soon. I'm getting withdrawals. Might do that next week. We'll do some blooming blues. I think that could be cool. I do love playing with blue. All right. We'll get a good chunk of this. I love 
playing with a tube paint in these just because it allows me to fling it like it's a 747 about to take off and I still keep my defined cells. Tube paint, the glue that holds those pigments together. Pretty cool. And it lets me paint like I want to. Now, I think that is probably going to be a good splash of that. That will do us. Now, what to do, what to do. Yeah, let's go Senshi. Love Senshi Red. Really, the depth of this colour is insane. Very cool. Like a Klingon bubble then, follow me around. Get off my painting. Alright. Isn't that gorgeous? I actually love the um, Senshi Red with the King Gold. Just gives a little bit of elegance, I reckon. Alright. I'm going to use a ghost colour, but I don't know yet. We'll just roll with it and see what happens. Because I've got to remember we got that um, transfer bloom to bring over in a minute. So, I can't be getting too carried away. Easy to do. Good dash of our cherry red. So that's what I mean, it just looks real sort of muddy this colour when you lay it down. I remember the first time Daz said to me, oh, you are going to love this colour, cherry red. So I heard the word cherry red and I'm thinking, you know, real deep sort of vibrant red. And he brought this out and I went, yeah, that's nice. But once you see what it does with other colours, it's an absolute ripper. Love it. So don't be disillusioned when you look at it in the tub that's what it's going to look like because she just doesn't she dries just gorgeous all right let's get our inferno this little piggy get that rocking this color with a black ca gee she pops really does it justice like magic cells and hopefully I don't bugger this one up and have to do it again because I'm getting low. Yeah, I think, yeah, more. More is better. Okay, last one. Love this custom orange. Isn't that gorgeous? say it over and over again it's what sunsets are made of on a gorgeous summer night it's a stunner i never used to use orange till i found these oranges i do love um mosh too that's a this little piggy one but this arc oranges especially the way darren makes it wow very cool. Now, big or small swap tool. Oh, everyone's still there? Yep. Had a bubbles moment. <laughs> Just checking you are all awake and still watching me. Okie <laughs> uh, dokie. Let's do this. Yeah, you can imagine what it's like painting with me. <laughs> It's an adventure. If you don't get covered in paint, you get a giggle at least. Anyone that's watched our student versus teacher will know that with us two clowns having a play. All right, I think that looks like a good amount of CA and we're gonna go in with a big one this time, I think. We're gonna leave them bubbles and run the gauntlet. Now, let's bring that around. Oh, yeah. 
That's cool. All right. Now, I better wipe that off. Tell you what, I was painting earlier and managed to stick the my elbow in the paint as usual and the jumper's covered in it so I sort of look like an artwork in itself today. Now we're going to grab our skewer. Really don't want to lose any of that, that's pretty cool. Let's just blend that up and down through our gorgeous CA swipe there. I don't think I'm going to wreck much of that. Yeah, we're going to avoid it. But we're going to pop that bubble now. How rude's that, right? Now, I think... Yeah, I think now we'll grab that transfer swipe. Yeah, get my other favourite tool. There it is. So, that's what we got here. Let's have a play. If I don't drop it in the paint, it's going to be really cool. So with these, just give the piece you've got it on, give it a little tilt forward as your palette knife slides in tilted the other way. So when you get a nice even coverage there, plop her up, give the base a wipe so nothing drips on you and upsets your day, and we're ready to play. So I'm thinking what we might do first is come round the base here. So with it, just give it a nice little tilt. Now remember, the slower you go with this, you keep those cells a little bit more defined. The quicker you move, the more elongated they become. So realistically, there's no right and wrong. It's just really, what do you want it to look like? Do you want it more defined? Or do you want it to spread out a bit? All right, do that on that side. So we're just going to go in again, plop her up. Give her a tilt and a roll. Wipe our base. Let's go in from the other side. So that's the only thing I've sort of found, just trial and error. And, you know, everyone does something different. But just my, my um, sort of learning from it is you want to keep them cells a bit more together. Tilt her right up. Go really slow. If you want them to be a bit more elongated in the cells, move it a bit quicker. But your artwork, what floats your boat, is what you do. Thing is, at the end of the day, we are all learning every day. And there really is no right and wrong. Don't let anyone tell you different. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's go again. We've still got a bit left on here. And I hate waste. There's always an extra use for everything. Some of them pants coming out really cool. I wish you could see the close-up right now. Alright. I think we'll leave that like that there. Now what we might do... Just that little trail, I think. What do you just reckon? Yeah, just to break up a bit of that king gold up the top a bit. Now don't get me wrong, I love the king gold, but... I think if we can add some contrast with a different colour here, it could look better.
Yeah, that's cool. A really crazy cool snake pattern coming out here now. It's making me smile. Now I might bring that down to the line. And that way I can fade it into the black there and you don't see where I finished. A little bit more. Let's bring that from there. I think some of the best days you have is just experimenting like this, not really knowing where you're starting or finishing, and just getting that pretty cool surprise at the end. Sort of floats my boat. Now, if I hold that for a minute, I think we're going to get a cool line there. There we go bit of a cool blob. Yeah, I think I might do that now, leave that alone. We'll get rid of that tray. Now what I'll do is just check for any bubbles popping their head through on me before I give her a spin. Ah, sneaky bugger. Gotcha. Let's open her up. My favourite part. Now, of course, with these ones at first, because you're not, you're not going to really be sure which way the swipe's going to move or even your transfer swipe, so it's sort of better just to... Go a little bit slower at first, just so you get an idea of what she's going to do. So what I might do is just put some paper towel there for a minute, because last time I spun this right out and didn't cover up my colour paints, I got black all through Wombat's colours. He wasn't really smiling politely. Still loves me though, so you know, he'll get over it. Oh, she's moving nice. We'll just take it slow for a minute. Just get that pillow, because with the oval too, the pillow seems to move long ways first, and then it starts to come out. There we go, now we're flicking. So... What I might do, because I can just see I've got a real stubborn edge there where that paint's just not lining up. So, add a little bit of pillow down like that. It's just going to help it move for you. Nice and simple. Alright, so now we're sort of at that halfway mark. So if we want to grab that magic skewer out and have a play, this is our chance. So we'll plop her up. So that's what we're sort of looking like so far. Grab my special big cup for the big ones. Give my sides a wipe for a minute because I've got a hell of a lot dripping off. Love the floating pillow for swipes. Just makes it so much easier to work with. Well, I think we'll leave them transfers alone because they look pretty cool. But I'm having a play with this bit, that's for sure. So, tie the shoelace through there. Anyone that hasn't seen my tying the shoelaces, all we are doing right now, most simple thing to get pretty cool effects. So, we're just doing like an affinity symbol, as you can see there. Then bring it up, and a little swoop down. 
nice and simple and it opens up different effects too. It's really cool and nice and easy. Gives you a little bit of a touch of elegance with very little effort. All right. Yeah, we want one there. It's a long one. There we go. Might just walk that in and out of the black. love neighbours don't you every time I hit record yeah let's mow them lawns get that chainsaw out and cut a tree down thanks fellas you rock not Name and shame bubbles. Name and shame bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> all right I'm gonna wave that bit Just to keep up that look there. There we go. Well, I'm thinking that. That's enough. Let's just leave it alone now so we don't go overboard. We'll give her a spin out. So as I said, I had quite a bit of pillow floating on that. So I just want to make sure... Now I'm going to come down this way a bit because I don't want to lose the rest of that there. And the gold CA moves a lot more because it is a lot thinner. Then my other paints there. So let's get it moving that way. To get that excess off and then we'll recenter it. And that way we should bring that. Transfer swipe should move back a bit for me. Go, you good thing. Getting dizzy yet? All right. Before we do our last spin, I always just get down the light and it makes all them little bubbles a bit more visible. Black paint, prone to bubbles here. Okey dokey. I think we are good for our last spin, guys. Now, good trick too here. And I move it to the middle. What you can do, and Daz taught me this one, and it's just saved me from a lot of heartache of getting cracks or continued movement when you walk away and come back the next day and you wonder why everything's gone wonky because you haven't got all that pillow off if you give it a scrape now when you've got that one last spin to do so you can see i've scraped all around the outside now i'll give it another spin and it'll let us know whether we need to keep going or whether we've actually got her all so, let's have a look. You see now we've got nothing coming over the edges here. So we are good to plop that up so you can have a final look at it. And we'll do a 
close up reel. So you can have a look at how those transfer swipes and our swipe and our gold CA looks up close. So I hope you enjoyed that one this week. Just a bit of a play and sort of teaches you just mixing different techniques and if something doesn't go right when you start off with your first bloom or whatever you're attempting on the day, go over it. Add to it. Change it. It's never over till we say it is. So that is it for me this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Now, next up after me, we have the fabulous My Big Brother, Tony. Maybe sometimes his lovely wife and My Big Sis, Cat, from the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Some of the best art you'll see and personality plus. Couldn't love this couple more. They are absolutely amazing people. So head on over there and join us in the chat. And that is it for me this week. So I shall see you next week. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys.